Hello. <laughs> How y'all doing? What's going on, everybody? I know, I know. Every time you see me, I look different. I had to go get my hair braided. I am so loving the colors right now. You feel me? But I am here today. I, listen, this is Mama Roxy Says. I'm here for your wallet, your purses, and your pocketbooks. Baby, your heart. And your mask for cheesy cheesy. That's me, baby. But check this out right here. I am with my granddaughter. <laughs> Hi. I'm with my granddaughter. And she just got home from school today. I did her hair yesterday, but I don't like it. I don't like it. I just don't like it. <laughs> So, I'm going to redo it again. And she's been waiting to get back in front of the camera ever since I little, you know, raise up, sweetie. Ever since I little, uh, our tea party thing, she's been waiting to get back in front of this camera. So, girl, tell me about your day. What you do in school today? Didn't do not. We had fun all day. We didn't barely do any work. Really? Yeah, because it was a half day. Uh-huh. So, would you please tell them? I wish she would have brought, but we wasn't thinking, y'all. She got a, 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 a medal for what? Gymnastics. She got a medal for gymnastics. And... What is one of your specialties, Aaliyah, that you like um, in gymnastics? What is the one of the main things that you like in gymnastics? Bar Tell her. Bars. What is the bars? Explain to us that uh, that's not into gymnastics and no. Um, I know that hip circle, um, uh, Jump to the little bar, to the bigger bar. Okay, I like that. I don't know what that is. Y'all know what that is? Uh-huh. Uh, so I don't like beam. Why you don't like the beam? Because it's scary. What do you mean it's scary? Have you done you done it before, right? Yeah, I did it. So why is it scary? Have you fallen on it? Or, uh, yeah, I fall sometimes when I try to do something. But at the end of it, we have to round, lunge it, and then a lunge, and then a, and then a round off at the end, and then I did a back handstand. Oh, you sound like you had that beaming girl. I did it by myself. You did it by yourself? Yeah. Then that's a, what I'm talking about. It was on the ground, though. But you did it, though. Don't, don't never put yourself down, sweetie. You did a good job. It's a lot of people, especially like myself, I've never had any gymnastics or anything. And what you're doing is amazing. You continue what you do. You might become an Olympic gymnast or something. See you on TV, girlfriend. What? I never seen that. You are you always on TV. You on TV right now. This this is a broadcast. I got over two thousand something people or more watching right now. So you're always on TV. And let me tell you, Missy. Not always. Well, when, when, I, when they see you on there, they see you. And you on there. Just because we once you make one video, baby, the video constantly plays for somebody. Somebody else new is watching it. So just because we did it one time or a couple of times, you've been on TV a whole lot of times, honey. So don't you just, don't act like that. But it, you you be on TV all the time. So don't you dare play me about being on TV. Because you always on TV. Yes, we did your birthday on TV. Yes, we did, Miss Thing. Don't act like that. Yes, y'all. This is my little sweetie. This is my granddaughter. Y'all know my granddaughter, Aaliyah. This is who this is. 
and y'all have watched me do her hair for about a year now and you guys can really really see the improvement on her hair you can really see how long it has gotten it's so very thick and one of the things that i've noticed and you know i've been doing hair for quite a while uh maybe not professionally but when you have kids honey and <laughs> You doing hair every day, you doing hair, you doing this, you getting it together. To me, that's just that's just as professional. You don't have no uh you may not have a license or anything, but you get the job done though, don't you? Mm -hmm. That's right, you get the job done. And I love taking care of her hair. I like that a lot. I like to keep it greased and oiled and everything. That way when she is in school and you know how little kids are with lights and all that and all of that stuff. You, I try to make sure her hair stay greased and all of that. When it's greased, you have a less chance of catching lights or whatever the case may be. So I figured keeping it nice, greased, and uh, oiled up real good. And then, man, her mom and dad, her mom washes it on everything. So that's a good way to take care of their hair. Get them in the habit of getting their hair done. So that's how I just, my, my youngest granddaughter is the same way. She has gotten to the pack fact now, y'all. She loves getting her hair done. Hell. Athena and you guys, both I of don't. you. I don't. You used to. And you always go all the way to the root when you put in any conditioner, any oils or anything. You take the oil all the way to the end of the hair and rub in. Always. So I need you to get, go get that brush right there. Right there. On top of the shelf. And this is the Cantu She Butter Leave-In Conditioner. Intense moisturize, moisture. You can get this from any uh, wig store. Beauty, I mean, beauty supply store. You can get it from any, um, any, come on, any beauty supply store. You can get it from any store i promise you you can you can get it from walmart dollar tree not dollar tree you can get it from walmart family dollar and dollar general as well as well as the beauty supply house so i start from the the top part the shaft and i go all the way to the ends always get to the end just comb through pull Comb through like that, and it's ready. So, what's been going on with you guys? How's everybody feeling? Are you feeling blessed? Are you thankful? Yes, Lord, are you thankful? I know I am, baby, for sure. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take me two rubber bands. I like that wig brush, but I also like this other brush, yes. That's help keep all the, the wig brush to me, helps separate the hair. It gets way down into where the scalp is at and everything like that. But a regular brush helps smooth down. Hold that thought, y'all, that's my mommy. All right, you guys, this is called a hair wraps diy braiding boutique this is what this looks like right here and this one comes in this long 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 string so what i'm gonna have to do oh my gosh Lily, you're gonna have to go get the scissors out the kitchen with a butcher knives and stuff it you know how to do that so this comes in 
This the last pack I had came in little strings like this. You just had to cut them. I just don't like. I didn't like the hairstyle yesterday. <laughs> I really did. Okay. So today I'm going to give her a cute little style, just with three little braids and put this on there and make it easier for me to do for her little hair. Make it cute. You feel what I'm saying? Something a little different, different, different. Why are you looking so serious right now? She's like a murderer. <laughs> okay, I took it and cut it in two. So I'm going to take it like this. I'm going to put a knot in it. Like this. It's the little knots. I don't know what I just did, y'all. <laughs> Hold on, I can't do it that way. I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to do it just like this. Take it. And that's how it's going to look. I'm going to take it and put just a little knot in it. So it'll stay. Hold on. Y'all, this don't make no sense. There we go. So now I got the little knot in here and I'm going to take me some braids, part them, separate them, and braid. And it should be coming in. You see how it's coming in right there? This one are prettier than the ones from yesterday. I really like this. She has gotten a little, she says she's getting, she's gotten a little too old for the borets and everything. And she says that when she's doing gymnastics, the borets and the balls hurt her head. So I can seriously understand that. And I do not want her hurt at all. Because when you hurt, and she hit herself in the eye the other day with it. So we can't have that. Not at all. So I'm going to braid it till I get all the way to the end like this. And I'm going to get me a rubber band. I'm going to put on the end. Oh my God, y'all. I'm so sorry. I hope y'all can hear me. But hold on, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry. We might have to do this video over again. I'm finna see. But hold on. So this is how y'all do this. And it's like this. Okay, so hold that thought. Stop. All right, y'all. This is how the first braid, you can sit back here. This is how the first braid looks. And what I'm going to do is take this right here, put a little knot in it. So it'll hold the hair. So I'm going to wrap it around one more time like that. Kind of hiding the rubber band that's on here. And then I'm going to make a little ribbon. So that's the way that goes. And it'll be very light on her. So she ain't got to worry about hurting herself or worry about any of the extra stuff that, that she gets with the regular bows and stuff. So I'm trying to put this rubber band on here where I can get the, 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 uh, the bow to stay. So this is my first time, well, my second time working with this stuff right here. So this is new to me. I'm learning with you guys, as you can see. And this is what this looks like. And it's just braided through. So I'm going to take the other parts of her hair. I'm going to use the Argan. It's the Soft Tea Argan Oil. 
it's like a good hair conditioner. I like it because it makes the hair nice and shiny. And remember, go all the way to the ends. Like that. Make them pretty. And then I'm going to go in again with the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner. And I just got enough just to work through the hair. See, I also, yesterday I, I didn't have enough oil to me. And that helps keep her hair nice and shiny and all that other stuff like that. It also helps hold the style to me, you know? So I'm going to take my little wig brush like I told y'all earlier. I'm going to work right here first. Then you start from the top of the head and you work back. Just like that. Just working it through. Just like that. So then I'm going to take my rat tooth comb. And I need you to turn your body this way. Yeah, turn your whole body. Yes, ma'am. My little gymnast, honey. Yeah, that's what I like. This is how we doing it. Nice and easy. Quick little hairstyle. It don't take long. It only take me long right now because of I'm making a video. And I'm trying to go step by step and show you guys. You know, she wanted something a little different. I, I feel you. You see how different I'm looking. So, hey, that's cool. All right. So, you just go and make sure you get all the little extra hairs. That's why I like the rat tooth comb. It can... Get all my little extra hair out the way. It helps me create a better part. So as you can see, you got a nice little part. Still making sure that all the grease from my hands and in her hair brush. Start from the, the top part. Down. Top. All the way down to the end. Top. Down. Top down and you keep doing this until the brush is actually going all the way through the hair now you see what I'm saying turn your head this way you see what I'm saying you see how nice that is and how how nice and wavy that is but when it's just that when I get ready to put the hair in a nice ponytail you see how busy that is? You got to take the regular brush, just like this. The wig brush is good. I like it because it helps detangle it and everything. But the regular brush helps me give a more smooth finish to the design of the hair that I'm trying to create. Just like that. And I'm going to take two rubber bands. All right, we got those. Take it part the hair part like that and pull it a little bit. That helps with, uh, and you take your little string, snip, take it, run it through here like that, even it up like you would if you were tying up your shoes, tie it, and I'm going to come back again. What are you doing? Then we go back again. This time we're going to use a knot. There we go. 
So we turn this way. We gonna take the string on one, string on another, and you just start braiding. Just like this. And it give it a real cute different design. It's real cute. It's real easy to do. It's not real hard on her head when she's doing her flips. And it's just adorable. Anybody can wear this, young or old. I've seen older ladies with them too. So anybody could wear them. And then when I get down to the end of the hair, just braid it all the way through as much as you can. Just like this, then you stop, grab your rubber band, put it on the end. Just like that. It's going to leave a little of the hair out. I think that's cute. And half. So then you take the little extras. Like this. You're going to take them and tie them. I'm trying to have like the rubber band. Then we're going to come back around again. Tie them. And then I'm going to take it and make it into a pretty bow. Now, that's cute. And I'm going to on the end. I'm going to take another little rubber band. I'm trying to put it on this little bow part right here. Where it won't keep coming down. That's my issue with it. It keeps coming down and I hate that. So let's see if I can get it to... Yeah, there it go. And there it is. Now that's what the other side, turn around this way. Turn your whole body. Come on, all the way around. All the way, all the way. You can sit, you can sit real close to me, but I need you to turn around like this. Gorgeous. Thank you, madam. And this is how it goes. I'm going to take the wig brush, as I told you before. This time, we're going to comb up. We want this one to sit up just a little bit more. Yep, you got to keep... You got to detangle it before you really start braiding it. Because if you don't, every time you get into a braid, it's going to mess up. Because you're going to have to keep messing with the, um, you have to keep messing with it. Oh, I know, baby. This is thick. <laughs> there we go, my love. So then we're going to take this. I'm just going to put a little more conditioner on this side. Because this is like more hair over here. This one gets raised up a lot more. Work it to the end. You want to grab all that pretty little baby hair or whatever it is. And you want to grab it and work this all the way up. All right, we're going to get two rubber bands. I like to use two because they give you that little extra grip that you need.
just like this. Just keep going, getting the rubber band kind of tight. There we go. Pull the hair where it straightens out some. And you just keep working the rubber band around because it's pulling the hair. We're going to take our nice little long piece. This one is going to be a little longer. I cut it when I get to it. Pull it. Go around again. Pull it. Just like this. This one needs another more knot. There we go. Now, turn your way. Now, remember how I told you guys. You take three pieces. You have one on each piece. And we just go. Lean up for me. Sit up for me. I need you to sit up all the way. Yeah, like that. Just sit up. Don't turn around. Yeah, I just need you to turn around like, like that. And we just keep braiding, you guys. Your mom here. Thank you. She got That's it. Cool. It's unlocked. And you just keep braiding it just like that. Front door. Just like this. I had to get high before I go on my, <laughs> on my hair adventure. I, I think I'm almost done. This is how it looks, you guys. My thing is still going to go to Nando and Papa's. So, yep. when I get to the end. Okay. When I get to the end, a rubber band. Bring the string through. Xavion's name for him. Yes, tonight is Xavion's name. And then tomorrow's game. Yep. And when you get our punishment? Two more weeks until I get him grounded. That's okay. Then we'll, uh, we got, we got, I got you. Then it'll be your turn, madam. That's the last time I'm maybe probably going to stay the night here. Why is that? Girl, you do leave from here and go to school. I know. But so I have to wake up so early. No, you don't. You wake up the same time you do when you with your mama. Well, my, my mom. And your mom wake you up the same time. But she don't wake me up like you say. I have to wake you up. You got to get dressed. I don't ever want to get dressed. Well, baby, that's all a part of going to school. You got to get dressed, you got to get up, you got to eat your breakfast, you got to do all of it. It is what it is, Mama Sita. You have to do all of it. Okay, raise up. I like it too. It looked better than it did yesterday. It looked good yesterday. It looks good today too. It's pretty. I like them both. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah, I be trying to make you happy. I be wanting you to look pretty, though. Yesterday just didn't work for me. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta put this little rubber band right here. Where? Okay, well, hold on. Now, how's that? Okay. He's cutting hair still. Oh, you cutting baby on your hair? doing is she in there I'm, watching TV still. I'm trying to make it to where her bows don't come down like yesterday that's I like irritating it. I liked it because it looked like my hair was a lot longer there you go madame now let them see this is how it looks right now you guys look how pretty she is turn around to the other end that's the bag 
and then turn this sideways. And she got little pom poms on the end. Pom poms. So, mm. Yes. So I love you guys. I hope you guys like and enjoy the video. Please subscribe. Then that little stuff get everywhere. Y'all see it. Please like and subscribe the video. Tell me if you would try this for yourself or your grandchildren or your kids. I love you guys. Please stay blessed and remember to treat others the way you want others to treat you and you. Because karma is something else, baby. It may not happen to you, but it just may happen to somebody you love. So remember, stay your six feet distance, wear your mask, and be respectful and kind don't and wear, treat others. Don't, say what? don't wear your mask. No, wear your mask, cause I wear my mask wherever I go. I didn't wear my mask today. Girl, get out. I love y'all. Y'all have a beautiful and blessed day. Please like and subscribe. Ciao. See ya. Wouldn't wanna be ya.